I just found that really fascinating how we can learn more about a pathway that we can't even really see inside an organism and then use our knowledge about that to see what can go wrong and the diseases that form because of it. And then also how to treat it by making things go right. We often take it for granted that things grow proportionally, but that's because the process is really tightly coordinated in ways that we don't fully understand. That's why having the entire genome sequence is really useful. If development is like the assembly of a machine, the genome sequence is the parts list. Today, it's possible to assemble these short DNA reads into complete chromosomes. This really wasn't possible about 12 years ago. The things that we can learn inside a laboratory can actually be used to help other people and see actual physical, practical results in everyday lives. When I'm very optimistic, I hope our work might even suggest potential ways to correct the misregulation of growth in human diseases. I am making a difference in the bigger context. <laughs>